y'all welcome to happy art creations and welcome to my today I am Tammy and we are we are definitely blooming duchies today I'm trying some new colors um, less paint kind of sorta not less paint less colors there was one that I had almost 20 colors in and I thought well let's simplify it just a little bit but let me give you just a, a sneak peek of a resin piece that I did look at that I've got quite a few done I'm gonna actually do a video so that y'all can see all of these finished with them being resined but she turned out and I said springs are coming and that's what I'm calling that because kind of pastel-y Eastery kind of things and y'all with this weather that's going on in our country BAM right all right let me put this up <clears throat> I've got them all hung up on my wall, those that, are, that I can. Uh, let's see, I've got five on the wall. One, two, three, uh, four, maybe four more that I need to do. But I've been busy. As you can see, I've been busy. But I kind of came up, everybody was talking about this mysterious, y'all. And in all reality, let me pause this just one second. I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I just adjusted my camera. It was kind of whopper, whopper jawed there. It's a Texas term for crooked. Anyhow, and everybody was talking about this mysterious, and I really have never really seen it, but I've seen people talk about it. So I think, I don't know, it's awful, it's awful beautiful what I've come up with, so I'm going to call it my mysterious, okay? All right, so I, how I made it, and I was just digging for colors, y'all. I used the last little bit of my acrylic or Amsterdam uh, greenish blue. I used the last almost little bit of my Dragon's Breath. I used Deco Art Black Pearl. I used Aqua Flash. I mean, these are all, this one has some in it too. And this is the Blue Flash. Those are all by Folk Art. Anyhow, and I mixed it all together and said, holla. So, um,. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Anyhow, I think it's most beautiful. I love it. Um, so I'm going to give it a good old try. Okay, y'all, it, it really may not be, but it's very pretty and I like what it looks like. And it has all those ins and outs and, and pretty little um, ditties that are there. Just got that all over me. That's, and um, what's in my, this is pretty thick right here and what's in my bottles are, kind of on the thicker side too. So I'm going to start using them also in some of my um, Dutch pour type things. And I did forget one thing. Where is it? Oh no! try to be organized I really do that's not it well I was looking for my ghost blue and I usually have it right here I have well, okay we're just gonna we're just gonna call it done I'm just gonna stick with what I have okay all right I've got my house paint ready to go I put it's a seven ounce cup so it's not quite seven ounces six and a half ish somewhere around there okay I put my ten squirts of water this here, I found an old can of my old stuff, so um, I'm using that. The new stuff that come out from Walmart, you don't dilute it as much, and my next one, I'm going to be experimenting on it. So let's go ahead and start, um, and then I'll go over my colors as we go, okay? All right, I've had a lot of people ask me about, could you please tell me the colors that are in it, y'all? Sometimes it's very difficult for me to do that, just so you know, because some of it's spur of the moment. Some of it, oh, I had this tape because I haven't used it. Um, and some of it's just plain, like, I forget, y'all. And so please forgive me if I don't get back to you on colors. Um, I try to tell you all the colors in the beginning, and if I add something in, well, on the video. So, um, anyhow, I try. This one has lots of colors, less than usual, 
gosh, there was one I just did that was just like crazy. All right, so let's put that down and we'll give it a spin. See if I can get it over the edges without spinning too much over. Oh, well, that didn't work. So let's let's do this a little. I still have some. We want to make sure that everything is covered. And I usually do use this whole cup of paint, so I should have probably done it. But hey, all right. <laughs> But I don't want to pour off too much. I do want to keep some of it. Okay. Doo -doo. And with life being expensive, let's get it all out, right? Life is expensive. Woo, doggy. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, let me just kind of move it around a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all the same thickness. There we go. And I want plenty to be around, so I'm not worried about that. Let's get it back to center a little bit. A little bit. One more little spin just to kind of smooth it out. There we go. All right, got my towel, my cloth towel for my doggone house paint. You know, the other day, and I know everybody knows what I'm talking about, but the other day, Dagnabbit, if I wasn't, I was in the shower, I'd use the scrubby, I scrubbed all over getting paint, and when I came out, I still had white paint on the inside part of my arm, like, what the heck, right? You ever have uh, paint flecks going down your drain off of your body? Well, I did. Okay, so I'm going to start the Dutch pour part. All right, I will be using some gorgeous colors. This is, is um, Arteza's uh, Pearl Brown, love. Um, this is Arteza Gold. Or is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Arteza Bronze. This is actually, I believe, this is not Arteza Gold. This is the H Bronze and the Gold Mix that I do. Okay. Um, I'm going to use the Pearl with a little bit of gold in it, the Pearl White. Okay. I'm going to use regular pearl white. This one's thicker. And I'm also going to use, this is a, this was the pearl brown. And where is my list of stuff? My blues. No, nope, that's that one. Um, it's got, let's see. Uh, well, oh, I'm on the wrong, wrong one. Well, I thought I had the right one. My Pearl Brown is, Pearl Brown was a silver mix and espresso. Okay. So I'll be using those in both of my next two. All of those is my base. And then I'll have other colors. Okay. So this is Pearl Brown. <laughs> what did I say? With the silver added in it. And some espresso. Okay. Espresso was from um, Folk Art, and it was the end of a bottle. I'm getting rid of end of bottles. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start my beautiful Dutch pour part. Just make it a little pretty. All right. I love these colors, y'all. I'm going to intertwine with a little bit of light and dark on this one. Okay, this part, I'm kind of kind of going out towards center. Okay, first one doesn't matter, as I say. Okay, as you can see, this one's not as, as thick. And a lot of this right here, we know, will blow off, but what... Let me wipe these as I they are messy. Okay, so I did that, that. Let's try the Arteza Brown, or Arteza Bronze. Man, these Arteza colors, you know, they are luscious, aren't they? They are luscious, and I'm trying to stay more neutral in my colors on this one. So I'm using some pretty colors. And I'm trying to make colors from colors. 
so that they're all basically in the same family. All right, I just did a light, a darker. So here is the white pearl. That one's thicker. Let's put some there. Okay. And remember, this isn't your usual Dutch consistency. This right here is my H bronze. This one's thinner for sure. Okay, then I'm going to use my silver, the mix, the brown and the silver mix, and I'm going to do it like that on the outside, but just kind of all get it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Okay, all right, y'all, so I've got my Dutch pour base down, and we're going to move on, and I've got my blow dryer ready. All right, here we go. It's going to be noisy. So we know, we know that this right here is our Dutch pour, and I'm going to spin it out. I'm going to try something different. I want to see another look. So I'm going to go ahead, let me get my paper towel. I'm actually going to use the fatter side of my little crochet hook, and I'm going to do a little bit of, of uh, modifying. Okay, just the edges that are going to go towards the center. And I'm not real worried about things not being exact. Okay, all right, and let's bring some of this up because I kind of lose it. And I'm okay with me, you know, because this is kind of wrecking, right? We're going to wreck it because I lose some of this. So I don't want to do that. Okay. All right, let's bring that up, that up, that up, and that up. All right, we're going to call that done on that. Let me put that aside where I remember where it is. Here we go. We're going to spin this. Let's spin. Spin away. Ooh. All right. Now the stuff on the sides is spitting out, the stuff in the middle is kind of, st it stays generally. So we're not losing a bunch and it brings out, I like that, let's go this way. Let's see, there's still some spinning, so I'm going to go ahead and let it continue. Oh, there we go. All right, pretty. That is a gorgeous setting for our colors that I've chosen. Oh, y'all are going to love these, okay? This, the first colors are mysterious, I don't know. The next one is pale mysterious, meaning I just put, I put a little bit of the regular mysterious in with the pouring medium, and I believe that's how I did that one. And then I added some silver to the mysterious to that one. So it's that, those are my three colors that I'm going to use along with the white, where are you? I had it. I thought I had it. Right, where'd it go? Oh, that is the white. And then I'm going to use the white uh, pearl. That's it. Those colors. All right. So I'm going to, I like the darker on the bottom, so I'm going to put my puddles. And I think I'm going to do more, maybe one more. Oh, 
I really want to do, I was thinking of more smaller ones. So let's see if I can do small. You know, it's next to impossible. I think it's not going to be small. Ugh, I must have got, I got big bubbles on this one. Um, should I do more than three? Well, we'll see. Let's see. I'll do it maybe a tiny to go over the edge. Over there. And maybe right here. Okay, now that's a smaller one, <laughs> right? Okay, let's add the next color is the Pale Mysterious, okay? See, these are thicker. Yeah, I'll... These are using my pouring mediums. And then we're going to use this beautiful silvery, mysterious silver. That's what we'll call it. Mysterious silver. Oh, and we're going to be using gold. I forgot. I'm going to add gold to this part. And some of the white. 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 Okay, so the colors I'm going to use as my um, go around are the Arteza Brown or the Bronze. Oh, I didn't put my gold. Definitely gold is going to be in there. Let me put my gold. Those bubbles are kind of parking or popping themselves. Okay, there's one. Let's put the bronze. Or the aged bronze. Oopsie. Aged bronze. Alright, and do I want to put anything else? Hmm. <laughs> okay, and over on another one I'm going to be doing, I've got a dark silver mix. I didn't show you that. I've got a silver mix, and it's dark. And it's for one of my next ones coming up, but I think I'm, that's what I'm going to put on the outside here. Oh yeah, well, that'll be very pretty. Can't believe I did one that little. And I have a light silver mix. <laughs> this is the Arteza silver. Okay, I just I saw this earlier this week when I was I did another one or last week whenever I did it. There we go. That's it. And the silver and the gold looked so gorgeous. Okay. Da, 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 da. All right, I made another batch of my um, and there it is of my Payne's Gray Phalo Blue. I actually put some um, black in it and some of the, oh, what is it called? Um, 
Prussian blue to get the color I wanted again. Um, and I actually made a big batch, but this batch here, I put the wood conditioner, the 15 drops, and then this one, it doesn't have the drops in it because it goes bad after a while. So always stir, always stir. So you incorporate your and it's just a nice rich blue I think this batch might be less green I don't know I've got it in this it's very similar oh that might be too much for that one and I did something one time by accident y'all just hear me out and it turned out very pretty some will be more strategic with it. And maybe one over here. Okay. It had a cool effect. I did one called Sailing Blues, which is going to be resin soon. And um, and I'm gonna do this first. Nope, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna do it. For, I'm okay. You ready for the the blowout? Here we go. Hope it turns out as pretty as I'm. Let go. Here we go. Blow down and around and out. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Look at those colors. This is going to be pretty, but I might have to put another bloom. Hmm. Might need another bloom. She'll say, I just feel like I need maybe something. Hmm, maybe. Oh, Tammy, I'm thinking, y'all. It's very pretty. It's very pretty, and I haven't spun it yet. I just feel like maybe there's going to be not what I was hoping for. Let's see what these do. And that's my cell activator. And when you spin it, it just looked cool. Um, the other paint was a little bit thinner. I feel like I need to do something. Maybe um, it feels out of balance. Oh, but wow. Okay, I'm going to try a simple setup. Let's see. We'll do... small right here oh. small and that You know, as you go along, you can help it. You find your ways of, 
I'm not putting all the colors, but you've got to find balance and you've got to figure out, okay, what do I like? What do I like? Alright, let's put a touch of the Let's see how that one, I might put a little something there. Oh, that's going to be pretty. How about a tiny one? Seriously, humor me, okay? And I mean, that was pretty tiny, y'all. Oh, I'm pretty proud of myself for that one, y'all. Let's put the mis this mysterious, the pale. Um, it's hard to do a little one in that. Okay. Like that, and a touch of gold. All right, let's move you, and we'll put a touch of blue. Oop, that might be a lot of blue. We'll see. Let's pull that out. <coughs> like a little bloom. I think I'll put whoa, a bloom here. I feel like I'm moving slow so I might need to get going. Let's do one a little bit bigger. Blue. The palest mysterious with the silver added. Almost has a green tint to me. Um, how about this blue dot of that? I know they're close in colors. And we'll do it with the dark around it again because I kind of like this color. All right, put that. Touch of gold because it, it's yummy. It adds. And then our cell activator. And I think, oh, here, let's put a little bit of the white pearl around this one. Come on. Oh, there you are. That one's a little bit thicker. Here we go. Oops. Ready? I'm ready. There. All right. Now I've got to do my, oops, where's my rag? A little bit of the, I'm kind of moving slow this morning. My paper towel. There it is. All right, let's start. Like I'm, believe it or not, this is going to be very pretty in the middle. I believe if I pay attention to what I'm doing. Oh, look at those cells! Oh my, right? Remember, I'm stealing this white to differentiate my petals, okay? It's important that I have it like that. Let's do that. This one here, this might be a little bit too thick, but we'll see. I think I'm gonna wait to spin. I think this one's gonna be gorgeous colors, y'all. I can see a lot happening with this one. Let's go ahead and Oh, 
I didn't like the way that one looked, so you have that right. I'm just dividing up right now, getting some, okay, I have to do this one. I think this one's pretty. I like those colors, right? Is this another one of those that says it's drawn to me? Let's give it our spin and see what happens. Those things I did didn't work like the other one. I think my paint was thinner. Let's see it open it up. And that's what the spinning does, but you do it gently. Let's take a peek. Let's do that again. Open up. Open up, says me. Alright, let's take a peek. Alright, now they're opening. Now I'm going to go the other way. These are gentle spins, y'all. Really gentle. Okay, now I'm going to look at it. I'm afraid that if I do anything else, that I'm going to start blurring the lines. So, I do want to get a spear. It's one of my little ditty dabbers here. Where are you? In a jar. Oh, that one's too tiny. I've got so many. Where are you? Oh, that's too big. This might work. <laughs> See if you could see the difference. That one, oops, see that one there. This one's real fat. I may not necessarily want some fat stuff going on right now. So, oh well, of course I drop it into the 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 bog, <laughs> the bog of paint. Oh my gosh, and it doesn't even want to come off. Let's try that. There we go. Wow, that is nuts. Okay, here we go. Um. Let's see if I can do something with this one. Let's do. It's kind of like a little bloom, a little bit thinner. There we go. Not too much on these little ones, because if you do, you overwork them. Alright, so let's bring in that definition of the blooms. This one almost got spun too much. I need to pick the towel. There. But it were not done, so hang in there. Okay, I'm gonna take my time. Yeah, I kinda got that a little on the Ooh, these colors are gorgeous. If you don't like the way something, just do something little to it. And it just makes all those little movements, see that? It just, it forms it out and gives you a little bit more of what you're looking for. Now that's kind of muddy. There. Let's do something different there, right? I'll bring it down a little. Oh, went too far. There. <laughs> you might have to go back to that back one. Where'd you go? That one keeps catching. I'll just have to be more gentle.
I love these colors together. I really, really do. It's a lot of white space there. And I don't know how I feel about that. Nor do I like the way that looks. What have I done? Yeah, you're seeing me do it. I am. I'm doing it. Just a little. Little bitty. Do, 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 do. I gotta make this work. It's a little... I think I over-modified in the beginning. And I think that's what's got me going here. Let's put... Helps if you open. And add a little bit of the dark. Pearl brown. We'll let that. That looks good. I mean, if it's not right, fix it. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, here we go. We're going to try. Now that filled in a gap that I think I like. This is just my skinny one here. And here's another one with a little skinny tip. This one actually you pick the holes with nuts. You know, that area I didn't like, I kind of just stole it back, didn't I? Mm, let's see if it does anything. There really isn't a whole lot. Mm. It did something. Okay. Wow, doing that ahead of time really really thicken that up. I won't do that again. You see what I'm talking about this right here? So okay, well let's do my old trick. Let's just bring it in. And out. It's got a lot. These little ones grab. I gotta be careful. I like this one though. Right? Let's blend them. I wonder. Okay, y'all. It's just paint. Hang on, I'm not done. Well, before I do it all, let me 
get an offset. Make sure it's clean. Got an offset spatula. Oh. See, it's filling in some of that, right? So let's try some over here. thing about it being on this is that it, you're able to move it. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm filling in those spaces that need some, right? So, okay. So y'all know you can do that. It works. And look at your art from different directions, y'all. Okay? Look at your art from different directions. Because I saw the move from here from that other direction. Here we go. Now be gentle. That's looking gorgeous, and maybe something right here to get that awkward look out. And I don't like it right there. Start right about here. Okay, I don't even know how long this video is, but I want it to work because it's beautiful. hard because of the edging but you know because I've got my little thingy I can adjust my edges a little bit there. Ooh, what do y'all think Oh, it's so pretty, and the colors are gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. You're probably saying, stop. I don't like the eyeball. That's got to go. There, that's better. Okay, y'all. I'm going to bring you up. Here we go. I'm glad I did that. There's that. That area. That. I'm going to have to bring up this. woo -hoo -hoo. That. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, y'all, it turned out gorgeous. And when this is resin, this is going to be, like, yummy, you know? Okay, y'all, I am less than 10 from 1,000 viewers. So, woohoo! if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you love to give it a thumbs up, if you share it with your friends, go ahead and subscribe. Um, when I reach a thousand, because of analytics, they're saying I still need to have longer view time. So, hey y'all, maybe watch my videos a little bit longer. Go ahead and binge on me and see what happens. Just turn it on and go. Um, <laughs> turn it on and go. Okay? Yeah, I know. As I look, I see things I want to do. So probably you won't see all that I've done. But, you know, it's just the way it is. But this is beautiful. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and come on. We have fun. Join this tribe. I am going to, um, whoop, let me get my phone. Where is my phone? 
start a page. I haven't, I've got it going where anybody can go ahead and put some stuff in there. Uh, share your art with it. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, not that one. Not that one. There we go. My groups. Do, 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 do. Um, where is it? Well, anyhow, I'll put it in the bottom, and I'll, and when I do, I'll have that uh, link set up for that. Let's share happy art. That's what it's going to be called. Let's share happy art, okay? Um, and you can go in there, and we can share our art. We can give each other um, high fives. We are going to be kind to one another for sure. Um, there are a few rules that, yes, we need to follow just because this is an art page, okay? So, y'all... No politics, please. No politics. All right. Um, anyhow, go ahead and spark some happy in somebody's heart today. This world is nuts, absolutely nuts, and they need a smile. They need a how are you doing. Some people don't ever get that, ever. And so, um, anyhow, y'all, I'm so thankful for you. I'm thankful for this outlet that I have that the comments are kind. I never get any bad comments and, and if they're uh, they're not even bad, they're just, you know, a constructive ex con constructive advice and to me they do it in such with such a kind heart and I'm very thankful. Y'all um I'm thankful and I will see you next time here on Happy Art Creation. See you next time. Alrighty, bye bye. Bye now. Let me bring it in. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Toodaloo, toodaloo.